Give me some of these gliders, man. Ah, what happened to you, Michael Latt? Social justice strategist with deep Hollywood ties murdered by a homeless woman. <laughs> Police arrest suspect. Oh, God. A 36-year-old homeless woman is facing charges for the murder of Michael Latt inside his Los Angeles home Monday evening. Jamila Elena Michael was arrested. <laughs> Neighbors. At the scene. Arrested at the scene for allegedly breaking into... Lat's home in Miracle Mile area and fatally shooting the 33 year old in the head. Wow. Hold on, man. Let me get a let me get a let me get a um let me get a um a pick of Jamila, man. If I see see if I get Jamila. <laughs> That's definitely a neighbor. <laughs> yeah, she a naysayer, man. <laughs> <laughs> you saw that shit. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely a naysayer, man. Um, damn, is there a pick? Is there a pick of her? Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, Jamila, man. Shout out to Jamila, man. Salute to um Eric at South Nation Hall of Fame for coming through once again. Shout out to Deluxe Two Four Seven, aka Cal Ripken, aka the real MVP, coming through once again. Yeah, man. Goddamn. Wow, that woman came into his house. This guy was look at him. This guy was woke. He was. Um, they said she shot him too, right? Homeless. She was homeless. She had a pistol and shit. She says. Homeless woman who shot dead Hollywood social justice advocate because he was friends with female directors she'd been stalking. It's cynical. That's wild. So yeah, he she she just whacked him because he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. It wasn't nothing personal. I'm sure his family that helped his family um get over it. It wasn't personal. Um Prosecutors have alleged have alleged that she had been motivated to kill him because of his friendship with a female director she'd been stalking. During Friday's hearing, she was remanded in custody for three million dollars. She had been living out of her car and was obsessed with Lat's friend, female director A. V. Rockwell. Who's which one is A. V. Rockwell? Oh, the black one in the middle. So she was obsessed with this woman. And she was just trying to be happy. <laughs> so she, That's she crazy. Was, she whacked her out, man. That's <laughs> crazy. She whacked him out because she was she liked um old girl and shit. She didn't look, she wasn't even fucking with her. It wasn't even like I was a girl or a wifey or she had something going on with her. She was, she was stalking, stalking her. Shit. Damn. Damn. And she said she had previously threatened the girl. She threatened the um, black girl, telling her she would kill herself unless Rockwell engaged with her and leaving handwritten letters at her home, including one in which she threatened, my Glock is loaded. That's crazy. The pair knew each other because Michael once appeared as an extra. Jamila once appeared as an extra in Rockwell's movie, A Thousand and One. Rockwell was so disturbed by Jamila that she had a restraining order taken out against her. She begged police to help, telling them, oh, she begged police to help. Oh, fuck no, no, bitch. You (laughs) woke-ass Hollywood bitch. No, 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 we not helping. Nope. Nope, these woke ass Hollywood people. She begging police to help her get this crazy ass sun woman off her ass. Nope. Um, she begged police to help, telling them she couldn't eat or sleep for fear that Jamila would strike. Jamila is said to have called her repeatedly, left letters at her home, 
and sent numerous texts and emails. In one letter, she said, one pull of the trigger and I'll be free. She also threatened yeah. to kill herself at Griffin Park. In one, um, she, um, it remains unclear why she was not arrested and whether any steps were taken to strip her of any weapon she owned. Nah, man, we ain't got time for all that, man. You said you don't want the police. Um, yeah, defund the police and all that type of shit. Defund the police, about. man. Yeah, man. Soon after his death, L.A. County D.A. George Gascon mourned Lat's loss without taking any responsibility of the, for the fact that his killer was known to police and free to roam the streets. Um... <laughs> In the tribute to them, they said, our beloved son, Michael Latt, fell victim to a tragic act of violence. Michael Latt devoted his career to supporting artists, championing organizations that raised up artists of color. <laughs> the fuck, man? Black people got plenty of shit, man. We got the NAACP Image Awards, the Source Awards. <laughs> the fuck? You, you, this white guy was raising up artist of color and leveraging storytelling for enduring change. Oh God. It was making woke. Look at yeah, him. I wanna say that. I wanna say that woke shit. That POC just woke shit. Yeah, woke bullshit. It was common and shit. Yeah, woke motherfucker. <laughs> uh, fuck. This is y'all got what y'all deserve. Fuck y'all. The hell with y'all. Um <laughs> 